In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you should allocate your renegade attribute points. In fact, you don't really need to watch this video because it's literally mentioned in the game how you should allocate your renegade attribute points. And for the first time in the history of Mafia City, they've got it right. So here's what it says. For the first slot, you should focus on strength or technique attributes based on the renegade skill damage type. For the second and the third slot, you either invest in physique or protection, preferably one in physique and the other one in protection. Now physique is the attribute that counters strength and protection is the attribute that counters technique. So if you're a low spender and you're mostly going up against Lan Ching, then it's probably better for you to invest in physique for both the second and the third renegade. However, if you do this and you face a technique-based renegade like Jer, you'll get completely destroyed. Similarly, if you usually go up against renegades like Jer, then you'd probably want to invest in protection for the second and the third renegade slots. However, in that case, if you face strength renegades like Megalodon, you'll get completely destroyed. So it's probably ideal for you to have one physique renegade and one protection renegade for the last two slots. That is, you'll be investing all the attribute points in physique for one renegade and in protection for the other renegade. For the first renegade, whether you invest in strength or technique would depend on their skill type. For most renegades, whenever you read their skill description, it'll usually show you at the end whether the skill is affected by the strength attribute or the technique attribute. This, however, won't show if you have the simplified description enabled. So make sure you disable the simplified description to figure out which attribute you should invest in. Another way you can figure this out is by reading the type of damage they do. For example, if a renegade does general damage, then that means it is affected by the strength attribute. And if a renegade does special damage, then that skill is affected by the technique attribute. So those are two ways of finding out which attribute you should invest in for the renegade that you place in the first slot. Also, there are some skills that don't deal any damage at all, in which case you won't be able to find whether they're affected by the strength or the technique attribute. So make sure you check all the three skills to determine which attributes you should be investing in. If your renegade is a strength type renegade, then make sure you invest all your attribute points in strength. And if your renegade is a technique type renegade, then make sure you invest all the attribute points in technique. So that's pretty much all I have to say for renegade skill point allocations. If you have any questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't liked the video yet, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.